this question comes from Laura Middleton, who people don't know is Kate Middleton's cousin, who <laughs> is doing analytics. Who knew? Who knew? Anyway, we're in the presence of the royal family. All right, Laura is basically asking, "Hey, how do I do this? I need a I need a grouped and a stacked bar chart at the same time. How do I make this happen?" Let's go show you how to do this. So in Domo, I have a fake data set. And we have years here. We have wins versus losses, retain, capture it. And I just put some rando numbers here. Let's go do it. I'm going to go to open with at the top, analyzer. Fun. Now, these charts are not really what we need. We need to go to popular charts on the top right. And I'm going to go to vertical bar. And I'm going to go all the way down to, where are you, buddy? grouped and stacked. Okay, but we got an issue. We have one series here. We need this to be split into not just wins and losses. We need to be split into wins, losses, and into retain versus capture, but we only have space for one. We only have space for one. So we're like rows on the Titanic. There's only room for one. And we're gonna go to create calculated field. And I'm gonna call this one concat. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm gonna say concat. We're going to do concat means concatenate. It's uh, merging two things. It's like that Spice Girl song when two become one. Anyway, that's a deep cut if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to go win versus loss. I'm going to put a comma, single quote, colon, space, single quote. You do not have to do this red thing. This is just how I like to keep things clean. Another comma. And we're going to put retain versus capture. Validate. Pow, pow, pow. Now we have one. When two become one. Mel C, I hope you are very proud of us. Okay, we're going to throw that sucker in there. Boom. But we have an issue. We have blue for this one, win and retain. And we want the wins to be the same. So we're going to go down to, where are you? Data label setting? No, bar setting. I'm going to say, you know what? I want that to be two. And there we go. We just put wins on the same side and we just put losses on the same side. But can we make it better? We can totally make it better. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to concat. And we might be tempted to make both of these the same color green. And that's fine. But I think you can make it better. I'm going to make the retain a dark green. And, or did I say retain? I'm in capture. And I'm going to make this capture a lighter green. Sure, why not? And I'm going to do the same thing with our loss capture. I'm going to make that a dark red. And we're going to make our loss retain a lighter red. Now we're using color to help us out. We got Christmas colors. We're talking about winning and retaining and losing Christmas gifts. OK, we got this. Uh, can we make it better? We can totally make it better. This is how I like to talk. I am a big believer that if you're going to put the number in here, if we go to data label settings and we do this, and we hit plus, and we did values and whatever, and now we have our, our numbers in here. Uh, I don't like how that looks. I'm going to go complementary, and I'm going to put this into the center. There we go. And I'm also going to make this a little bit bigger. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying that I'm a fan of doing little things like this. So I'm going to take off the summary number. I also think that, hey, if you're putting the numbers in here, you don't need the grid lines. You don't really need that unless you really want the total in there, right? But we're not going to do that right now. So I'm going to take off the grid lines. It just makes things cleaner. Cool. And I and there you go. You can put in your, your numbers, call it everyone. All right. Hope that helps. Hey, if you need any other advice, if you go to dashboarddudes.com slash pantry. I have video answers to everything that I've done. So you have this as a free resource. You could check out what I've answered. You could see everything here. In addition is, if we go back, I teach people how to use Domo. That's what I do. So if you go to courses, you can sign up for a 14-day trial to get answers and all this other stuff that that is available. So you can do 14 day trial and you get 30 minutes with me free every month with that trial. So, all right. Hope that helps. Give it a shot. Talk to you later.